And the eddy, if you don't know, takes just massive waves that you need. You need 20 foot plus waves for eight hours in the day for it to even be considered to run. This swell was so large that at one point, it wasn't, is it gonna be big enough? But is it too big? They were like, you know, you're not gonna have a jet ski. You might have to swim out. You might have to swim in. I'm like, sure, I'll do it. Like, <laughs> Have you ever swam big, white male? No, oh, but I'll figure it out. So um, that was a little scary. And it was a very much outside of my box. But I knew this was something that I wanted to do. This is, to this day, shooting the Eddie is one of the greatest honors and like achievements of my life. They decided to call the contest on. As I suited up and got my gear ready, it was one of the scariest things, but it was something that I knew that I had been training all my life for. It's something that I knew I was prepared for. This isn't something I jumped into without the experience, the training, and the right mindset to do. This was something that I was made for. I went out in the water to see the most amazing waves I had ever seen. From that moment, about 8.30 in the morning, I didn't get out of the water until 4 p.m. And my mentality and thinking on that was, this is what I've been waiting for all my life. It had been seven years since the last eddy before this. I had been training and I'm willing and capable to be here and do this. It definitely gave me the confidence to keep going and it definitely gave me an amazing springboard for my career to open up and to grow and to expand and have that credibility. It, it, is, it is a stepping stone and a great achievement to keep going further.